What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is your boy Goldie and I'm back at you today with another video. Now this is just going to be more of a rambling slash update news video so please stay tuned with me while I get out a few thoughts while they are fresh in my mind. So first of all, it is my birthday soon, so I'm going away on holidays for a few weeks. Um, so the likelihood of a lot of videos um, over the next month or so will probably be low. It will be, I will be having content coming out weekly. However, it won't be um, as often as you guys are accustomed to. I am really looking forward to going on my break. There is Wi-Fi, but I think it's insanely expensive and I'm not even going to try and upload a video while I'm out. So I think I'm just going to go, I might schedule a few videos to go up just so you guys have something cool to watch. If you miss this crazy Australian gamer, you will be not disappointed because I'll have a few videos scheduled to go live. So that is cool. And what else? I've been playing a lot of competitive Overwatch and it's been kind of a disappointing experience because I can't seem to get out of bronze. And I, as you guys probably already know, I was ranked as gold when I originally, but then I started, you know, experimenting on heroes. Specifically lately, I've been playing a lot of Widowmaker and, I, you know, I do reasonably well on her, but I, I do think that there is a lot of experience for me <laughs> to get good at. Um, Widowmaker. I mean, it's a very high skill cap hero and I think that I'm probably doing my team a bit of disservice by not playing another role. I'm very much of the belief that, you know, playing a healer if, is the way to get out of bronze because it is something that can ultimately carry even an absolutely abysmal team. So I'm going to be more flexible and I'm going to be trying to play healer tank roles and also you know still playing dps but perhaps straying away so from um the sniper maybe playing you know farah which i'm really accustomed to and i'm really comfortable with so it'll be interesting to see you know in a, in a little bit of time how that experiment goes instead of being a selfish jerk which i completely admit it has been extremely selfish on my behalf playing widowmaker i'm going to give other heroes ago. I'm going to become a better player, guys. This is supposed to be an educational channel, and I feel like I've just been giving the wrong advice. Hey, guys, if you want to play Overwatch competitive, just play a sniper. Wow. No, we're going to, um, like, that is just not the way to rank up, and I can tell you that myself. My win rate on Farah is 65%, so more often than not, I will win games. So if I just play Farah every game, I'm likely to get back up to, you know, my gold rank and perhaps even progress further. So I think ultimately my goal wasn't really to push up in my rank. I was more of the mindset of, hey, I just want to have fun. I want to learn this hero in a competitive setting because I don't feel that quick play is a great place to learn heroes because people just do not treat it the same way as competitive. I want to be able to learn how to play a hero in a competitive scenario, not in just a, you know, let's all, you know, play whatever and just do whatever and not even attack each other. And that happens all the time and it's great. And you, But still, I want to be able to play it competitively. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be flexing and um, my mindset is to actually be more of a team player and to contribute and to actually maybe get my rank up a little bit just to see where I get. I'm expecting at minimum probably just to, to get to gold again. I'm almost at silver at the moment. I'm a thousand one hundred I think. Um, so yeah so we'll see. I guess we'll see how we go. I'm not expecting to get to like grandmasters or anything like that. I just want to um, I guess improve as a player. I mean there's so many people on YouTube that are of that rank, you know, that are top end high tier players. I think what my channel is about is more catering to people that are perhaps in that really crappy elo hell of bronze and silver gold, you know, just people that are having trouble getting out because it, it is extremely difficult to get out once you're in bronze. It's like some people just do not understand, you know, how to counter certain people in the game. They don't understand good synergies they don't understand why we can't have six dps in the team and that will be okay you know there are things that are going on but there are ways that you can actually engineer the group to 
actually work and um so i'm going to keep you informed with um some videos just and with examples of how you know matches go and um hopefully that will help you guys out um and what else what else look what i found the other day by the way guys i was um in eb games it's one of uh, australia's biggest uh, computer games stores and oh my god i, I saw this really cool Widowmaker cup i almost got it but like it's $39. I can't justify spending $39 on something just to drink water out of. It's crazy, but it looked pretty cool. Anyway, I'll put in a video here just so you guys can see it for yourself. And I went to this other comic book geeky sort of store and saw these awesome Simpsons mugs. There was a Pin Pals one. Do you remember the Simpsons episode where Homer sets up his own <laughs> bowling team called the Pin Pals? I love that episode. And they've also got one of Homer when he um, goes to, I think it's Japan, and he ha he's got the face of some washing powder there. But yeah, they look really cool. But guys, look at the prices. Ugh. It's kind of expensive. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because I, I couldn't justify spending that much on a mug. $20. And maybe maybe that's a bit better at least than the Widowmaker sort of bottle. But bleh. why so expensive? Is it the Australian tax? What prices is it like for you guys over in the States to buy this kind of stuff? I'd be really curious to know. Anywho, that's me. Um, if you made it this long, maybe if we could t make up a secret word to put in the comments. What's something cool? Peanuts, peanuts. I don't know why, maybe I'm hungry. But yeah, if you made it this far in this video, please comment peanuts down below. And just a tilde for the video, of course I'm gonna be uploading videos, albeit less less often. It's my birthday, I'm going away and I'm excited. And I am going to be focusing a lot more on playing flex roles in competitive just because I've kind of been doing a disservice not only to the people that watch these videos as well as my teammates in the games by just, you know, insta-locking a sniper. It's pretty crap and I want to change that. And that's about it, I think. I hope you guys have a really great day and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Love you so very much and stay sassy. See you in the next video, guys. Bye. A few moments later. What's up, guys? I'm back. It's just a quick PS. I forgot to um, say that if you want to do something amazing for me for my birthday, please, 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 would you like this video and subscribe for more videos from my channel? And if you could also just leave a comment down below, I would mean the world to me. And thank you so much. And I love you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm going for good now. Goodbye. Well, not for good, but like for today. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Goldie out.